Okay. He just joined us last month, though he has been visiting our clubs for numerous times and he's a very familiar face in our meeting and of course he is the, one of the bosses for this venue. This is where we, he provides us the meeting place. So without introducing him, I would like to call him up on stage to tell us more about himself. Let's welcome Brian. My name is Brian and I've titled, entitled the speech uh, as one door closes and another one opens because I think that's how my life has, has progressed from a very early stage. When you come to the end of one situation, the next one will, will start. And when I first left school, I started working um, in the communications industry, uh, which was mainly cabling, fibre optics, uh, audio visual cabling, building masts, building towers, putting up antennas, and everything I think was great doing that. Um, I didn't have to do anything um, to please anybody else. I was single, I could play with my motorbikes, I could go to the pub, I could go to the club, so I could muck around. Um, but then, all good things must come to an end, and I got married. <laughs> <laughs> and then another door opens on a new chapter of my life. And from a, a, a boy who, who grew up in Sydney, Australia, I moved completely in a different direction and went to northern western Australia and, and worked in the iron ore mines. Um, I was a rigger up there, working with the uh, yeah, with the cranes and doing construction and um, general mine and maintenance. Um, I was quite affluent. I bought a boat. We went fishing on the weekend. Um, and after about ten years, I finally decided that I had enough of that, and I moved back down to Perth. Well, sorry, I moved to Perth, and. I got a job with a construction company uh, doing mine construction and mine maintenance. So I was going away again. And I was on a, a, um, a gold mine and they were all Italians. Everyone was Italian except for the chef who was a German. And they seen me working for this other company and they offered me a job. And so one door closed, another one opened up. So I now became not just a rigger, I was a rigger, I was a crane driver, I was a glass driller, I was a powder monkey, and I was a part-time breakfast cook. So, at, but the start was about four o'clock in the morning and you went right through to about six o'clock at night, seven days a week, and you had three weeks on and four days off. Um, and I'm, but the best part of that job, I really enjoyed being the powder monkey, which means that I was a shot firer. I put the explosives down the hole and I detonated them and I blew things up. And I loved blowing things up. It was fantastic. <laughs> and there was, there was one little story there where I, I was told how much explosive to put down the holes and I always adhered to that, but, but one day I thought, oh, I'll muck around. So I doubled up the nitro fuel going down the holes, and I wound it up, and I shot fired it, and there was only me and my boss there, and when I hit the button, I started running and went underneath this actual um, dump truck, and my boss was standing there saying, why are you running? I said, well, look at the fly rock up in the air. 
and he said, you so-and-so, and I dived under the truck with me, and it, 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 and it was raining of stones and rocks all around us, and he was swearing that much in Italian, it just wasn't funny. But, but, but it was a good time, and we had a laugh after that. Um, then I went um, from that job back down to, to, to actually Perth again, went back to my old company doing construction, and I seen that the people who were actually um, welders, that they were getting paid more than me, so I went to a local technical college and I said I'd want to do a, a welding course. and. Um, so I could get as much money but this, um, as what they were. But the, the college that, that I went to didn't do welding. So they told me they'd done hairdressing, photography, um, computing. So I just, okay, I'll do it. I signed up for computer programming. And another door closed and another one opened. And I started doing computer programming. And when I was doing that, I was doing um, work experience for the actual college. And the, they said to me one day, we're going to open up a brand new college and we're going to move this mainframe computer that you've been working on to that college. How would you like the job as the computer manager at the next college? I said, fantastic. Another door opened, or was another door closed and another one opened. And, and then I'd become in to, to the computing side of things. And then I applied for a job with the premise department in Perth, got that. It ended up being a infrastructure manager. Um, went through that um, and I ended up in that department, not in computing, but because that closed and I went into a TV studio down there and became the TV studio manager. So I done that, and then I met my wife. We got married, and then I was doing a a um, fly in, fly out marriage from Perth to KL. And then I wanted something to do every because I was bored and I got retired. Come over here, and I met Pun, and he introduced me to actually Toastmasters, and. From there, I've met this great family of new people um, that have just made me be welcome, and I'm so glad that you're all here. And, and thank you very much. <laughs>